Welcome to this video. Over the next few minutes, we will show you what's new in Sage 300 version 2022.0. Sage 300 2022.0 offers users exciting new features that guarantee increased flexibility and compatibility needed for today's business. This latest version presents additional functionalities and superior user experience through web screen improvements, desktop screen improvements, and general enhancements. First, let's have a look at web screen improvements. As a reminder, web screens are modernized versions of Sage 300 screens that you can use in a web browser, which means that you can access the data from anywhere at any time. Improvements and additions to the web screens of Sage 300 is continuing steadily. This release includes the following new features and improvements in Sage 300 web screens. The new web screens are added to increase the utility of web screens on our quest to achieve parity with desktop screens. The following web screens are now available. A new reminder list web screen that you can use to remind users to process scheduled tasks. A new chart of accounts web screen for general ledger, which you can use to list accounts in the general ledger and view specific information for each account. A new customer list web screen for accounts receivable, which you can use to extract customer information from your database. We have also added multiple project and job costing web screens, including cost types, opening balances, costs, material returns, material usage, material allocation, post transactions, and transaction listing report. The redesigned finder improves filtering and makes it easy to navigate through large sets of results. The addition of persistent filtering helps set default search that enables the users to use same previously used criteria for future searches. Additional filtering options now make highlighting the first and last record easier. By setting the filtering option to show all records, users can view previous and next records by default. Users may also change the size of the finder for a quicker look at the records. This improved finder is now available on all web screens and is more aligned with the desktop functionalities, such as the keyboard shortcuts that are now available that can be used to navigate through results and select records. More information on web screens can be found on the Sage 300 Cloud Web Screens online help page or in the Sage 300 Cloud Web Screens Getting Started Guide. Now let's review the desktop screen improvements. Users now have the 64-bit Sage Financial Reporter that provides improved compatibility with several business software. This means user can now seamlessly use the General Ledger Financial Reporter with either 32 or 64-bit Microsoft Excel. Time to look at general improvements, which are available for both web and desktop users. Sage 300 version 2022.0 includes improvements to purchase orders and order entry. With this version, users may now enter negative additional costs on purchase order credit notes, as well as set the expected arrival date and location for all details on a purchase order. More information on this new feature is available in the purchase order improvements in Sage 300 2022.0 video. Through the order entry improvements, users can now set the expected ship date and location for all details on an order. More information on this new feature is available in the order entry improvements in Sage 300 2022.0 video. Users can now reserve one or several Landpack user licenses for a user or any third party product. Landpack licenses provide specific users uninterrupted access to Sage 300. Please refer to the Reserve Landpack Licenses video for more information on this new feature. With this version, we have made improvements to bank feeds on the Reconcile eStatements screen. When automatically reconciling transactions from a bank feed, the system now presents additional ways to match transactions. In addition, transactions downloaded using a bank feed now have a bank cleared date based on your local time. For Sage Data and Analytics users, there are now new options to start it from within Sage 300. 
in desktop screens, it can be accessed by clicking on the Sage Data and Analytics icon on the desktop ribbon. In web screens, it can be opened from Business Intelligence Reporting on the navigation menu. Third-party applications can now link and drop their content in the Sage 300 Help menu. This enables users to find the information and resources needed to use these third-party applications with Sage 300. Finally, let's review some additional information about Sage 322.0. Sage will be discontinuing Integration Access Packs, IAP, used in some third-party applications that integrate to Sage 300. After customers upgrade to 2022.0, IAPs will not be accessible and users will be automatically switched to consume land packs to access data or the system. Additionally, as of 2022.0, we're providing the ability to reserve land packs and key users or third-party applications can be flagged as a designated user allowing them to always have access to Sage 300. The Sage Contact app, which could be used for viewing and managing Sage 300 customer information within Microsoft Outlook as part of the Microsoft 365 integration, is no longer supported. Lastly, .NET Remoting will not be supported with the 2022.0 release. With the Sage 300 2022.0 release, we present our users with enhanced reporting capabilities and easy-to-use functionalities such as the redesigned Finder. With updates such as 64-bit financial reporter and the ability to reserve land packs, we provide users, specifically controllers, additional hold on their projects. Enhancements to Sage Data and Analytics, purchase order and order entry improvements offer the right kind of flexibility and visibility needed by the sales, operations, and C-suite to run the business smoothly. For more information about this release, including technical information, program fixes, requirements, and more, please refer to the Sage 300 2022 release notes. Congratulations, you now know what's new in Sage 300 version 2022.